Right, more video. As you can see, we've got all the slag here. This is all part of the process when they were get, extracting the lead and all that, and the burning and smelting and all that. Further up, you've got much further up, we've got the, the um, big long tubes of the kilns, which I videoed all in the past. I've done a lot more up there than I'm going to do today. Um, today's just a walk around, really. But like I said, there used to be a railway line here. A railway line that would go all the way around there, picking up the debris and bringing stuff, taking stuff. This was a very busy place, very busy. And it would have, like I say, the skies would have been black and grey and chimney smoke. Um, now it's been returned to nature. But there are images of it back in Victorian times when this was a bustling place in the middle of the Somerset countryside. It's a lovely big tree there that I've taken pictures of in different seasons. It's still hanging on a little bit to its sleeves because this little couple of days of sunshine will be um, welcomed by the trees. Those are, are hanging on, Anna's can give out a little bit more, store a little bit more food up for themselves and their roots. That is a big tree, it needs to absorb as much as it can for as long as it can. It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful tree. Yeah, I'm glad I fitted this walk in. Um, the other week I had thought about doing it, but there wasn't time um, on that day because I'd gone across the top. I'd gone across the top. Now I've got a feeling this is a maple tree. Uh, I used to call it the oak tree, but it's not. I think it's a maple tree. Look at the size of the, the trunk. It's massive. It's a lovely big tree, isn't it? Very majestic. And it would soon look very dead. It's a tree that children would love to climb, isn't it? But it's probably a bit dodgy. A very good tree. I think you're you're hanging on, aren't you? You're hanging on. You're the king of the of the coom. I've had a banana. I've got a bar of chocolate, which I've not eaten yet. There's two bars of chocolate. One is what Zara gave me. It's some sort of new thing. Um, it's got something, some sort of raspberry in it. And uh, she, she gave me that ages ago. I haven't had it yet. Come out of one of her boxes that she gets delivered. It's called... looks foreign, doesn't it? Raspberry chocolate. Dipped and drizzled fruit, nut and cocoa cocoa bar. I don't know where it, where it comes from. Um, I can't hungry for that. Me uh, glasses on. <sighs> Sounds foreign though, so I'm going to have that in a minute. And then when I get up by the masts, I'm going to have my cheese and tomato and put the radio on. <sighs> This is the best day out of the three days that are supposed to be good. Three or four days and then it's going to change again. So I wanted to get this walk done today and then be closer to home uh, on the other days, which might be more unpredictable. I've just spotted a couple of clouds drifting in at the moment. This is a lovely walk, and like I said, my sister Jude's done this walk. We spoke of it. <sighs> yeah, we spoke of it. <sighs> I 
I often think of her when I'm walking because she was she was a walker when she at a funeral they did a lovely bouquet of it was I don't know if it was I suggested it actually but I don't know if they it was my suggestion or if they thought of it anyway they um, did a big bouquet in the shape of her boots and put them on top of the coffin a lovely wicker basket coffin it was but she was a walker. She she looked after herself. She got that awful asbestos in her lungs somehow, somewhere along the line. And uh, yeah, that was a terrible thing. Absolutely terrible. I do miss her, you know. I'll never forget her. My whole I won't forget Jude ever. Over and out. Right, this is all the evidence in the hills here of mining, umps and bumps. Down there there's more evidence and loads of it over that side as well, with potholes covered up and padlocked over the other side of the valley there. There's even features of Roman remains, architecture and that further up. Not a great big Roman villa, don't worry, you ain't going to see nothing like that. But, uh, apparently there's stuff. And you can find it all online. I don't actually have to go into detail. I've done it before, actually. This is just a moment in time. And, uh, when I reach the masts, I'm going to turn my radio on to see how President Trump and... Joe Biden are doing in the American presidential election with the results. So, apparently though, they might even be going to court over it yet. Because there is a lot of, um, what do you call it, lying, deceit, fraud goes on with these elections. Of course it does. Probably, all. I don't even trust our own. Right, over and out a minute, somebody. We're we'll back on in. A right, I'm back on again. Um, yeah, so all this is all evidence of the Romans and the Victorians churning up this countryside here. As you can see, all humpy bumpy mines, potholes, lime kilns. And there we go, apparently in there is one of the more features of the Romans underground apparently here. Some sort of settlement here for something to do with the Romans. There are plaques, so there used there's probably a plaque back there which I didn't stop to read, but there used to be one over here, further up. I've climbed and walked all around here before as well. You know that couple I just spoke to then? Those are the striders. I've also written, I've seen them before, sat in exactly the same place. Eating their sandwiches. Don't know if they're going to follow me afterwards. Don't know. But, yeah, it's very humpy and bumpy here. And like I said, I've walked all over the top. In other videos, it's all recorded and it will be on YouTube somewhere. Over the last 10 years, there'll be several videos I've done of Velvet Bottom. It might be even be called a circular walk from Cheddar or something, you know. Um, I often use different names. Just zoom into a nice plump pheasant there, look. Yep. And there's uh, the path I'll be taking over there in a minute. And I can't see the plaque anymore. I don't know why they would have taken it down. It was a really good poster. Um, it was sort of made of metal, like it had been scratched onto it. Maybe it's been removed for put in a museum or something. It was a really good poster of uh, what happened here. 
with various drawings. It might still be there behind those parked cars. Welcome to Blackmore Reserve. I don't think I've seen that sign before. The Charterhouse Blackmore Reserve is a nationally important archaeological and nature site managed by the Southwest Heritage Trust. Scheduled month due to its wildlife, heritage and archaeological value. No barbecues, take all your litter home and dog poo. Keep dogs on the lead. Stick to paths and tracks. Right, over and out. That's where I'm heading. Up there. Like I said, where I'm heading now, I'm not actually going to go and look at it, though. Uh, the, the, the limestone kiln and the huge big tunnels as part of the kiln. Um, I've actually walked up right into the kilns in the past um, and so that is, doesn't really need to be done again and I've got old photos, old videos I've done all on YouTube but here we are and there was a plaque back there I've, it was Lots of people parked right near it, so I had to be discreet. I didn't video or read out on a video like I quite often do. I'll read the plaque. So I've just taken photos of it, which I'll put with the video. Again, just to remind people. There's some really good images. And as you can see from here, all the humpy bumpiness of the landscape... It looks like someone's been doing a bit of digging. It could be, probably be rabbits, I should imagine, making fresh burrows. Of course, I'm not allowed to graze animals on this bit, because it's probably still filled with lead, see? Yeah, I'm making the most of this lovely day. Like I said, after a big hike I did the other week, last month, there wouldn't have been time to have enjoyed a leisurely wander like I'm doing now. I'd already done a lot. So, uh... It'd be interesting to look back at my other videos, actually. Because this is year now, it's uh, 4th of November 2020. Covid year. Last year, 2019, was Brexit year, which we're still working on, and uh, that's all a mess. And if Donald Trump loses the election in America, Boris Johnson won't have a mate. And because uh, it's been said that America don't really see us as important anymore, the historical friendship is sort of waned with um, the Democrats. Um, we're just nothing now to them. And, and basically a lot of the other minority groups are getting bigger, still regard us as one of the causes of the slave trade. So there's like, and there's also a group that resented us in one of their wars over there. I think it was the American War of Independence, where the British were fighting the new Americans. And there's still groups of people that like to have a fight with us now. Apparently, this is what I've heard. Now, in a minute, I'll be going down and across the field and up there, along the road a bit, and then up. I'm just going to have a little wander down here first. There is a nice little nature trail round the wood, which I haven't done for a while, I must admit. I mean, once I get up that hill, 
the only other hill I'll have after that one will be up to Long Sheepfield after leaving Longwood there will be a few little humps and bumps on route um, there's somebody up here with a camera now There's remnants of an old big tree here, look, this massive tree which I've videoed before. And this is not an oak either. This could be a very rare elm. Actually, this one is massive. I think I've videoed it before. Yeah, I think it might be an elm. It could be a beech. I'm not sure really. I'm not very good with trees anymore. And here's a bit of an old ruin that was probably all tied up with the Victorians, I would have thought this is. Yeah, I suspect so. Tied up with the Victorians. Oh. Yeah, it's a nice shiny bit, I'll keep that. Put it in um, in that chocolate wrapper. Oh, my shiny bit. Alright, you can walk up round the nature reserve by going up there, which I'm not gonna do. I've decided not to do it. Um, I've got to, I've got to take note of time. To be quite honest, I have got to be wary of time still. Um, but if we just walk up over here, we can go up to the gate leading to the... Yeah, because it's one o'clock. It's just gone one o'clock. That leaves me two, three, four, five... About f four to five hours. I've already done a good three hours now. But, uh, here we have the lime kiln and at different times of the year they've locked it off now but I, I've climbed over before now it's not always locked um, and that boom noise is the quarry by the way further over at Cheddar but um, they look like two big eyes um, and uh, you get some really beautiful flowers here in the springtime but at the top there there's two round like tunnel eyes let's see and I've been inside there in the past I'm not gonna they've obviously locked it for a reason but I've actually been in there I've walked all around there so I've included it in the video today and behind there that path that leads up around takes you on a nice little walk it's not too far round the nature reserve but I've decided not to do it today because, you know, just because really. Here we've got some huge slack slag, big, big lumps of it here. But there, you carry on down there. You can have this nice little walk. Takes you through that those trees over there and back round again. It's not really very far. I mean, I'm always tempted to do it. I should have done it when I had Alberta, really. To be quite honest, I should have done it when I had Alberta. It's never a good time to do anything, if you ask me. But here we are. Everyone will recognise these massive, big, massive, big slag things. Here. 
I expect loads and loads of people have had their photographs, especially the kids that went to Charter House. I got a feeling Daisy was one of them. Georgia might have gone to Charter House as well. I can't remember exactly who went. Got some um, pillar box there. Two people over there, so I'm going to make my way back this way now. Because I've got to go up that field. I'm going to turn off here, take some photos. Just take some photos of the scene. There. Okay, over and out. Right, down at the smelting area, the lime kiln, or not lime kiln, uh, lead kiln, I don't know what you call it really. This is all evidence that. This little lake that's just probably dug out during all the mining. And of course it all now returned to nature. Just met past somebody doing some sort of photography back there. Maybe he's looking for birds. Um, it's got really good camera, tripod. I'm quite happy with this little one, really. I, I don't pretend to be a professional or anything. I'm not. Because I'm not. I'm just an ordinary person capturing their beautiful Somerset and uh, admiring the history and. I don't know about admiring it, but the beginning of the climate cycle, if you like, when they started burning coal and other things, you know, I mean, putting lead in the piping, you know, all sorts of things, really. But this is, an, is a nice little, little walk. Here we've got the Babbling Brook. I use that term a lot, thanks to Wordsworth. A little stream running down. I mean, it could be full of lead, you know. I mean, I don't think you could... worth bathing your feet in it or drinking from it. But like I said, over there... the kilns, the little wood, nature reserve wood. Um, and then we go across a little bridge over a stile up through the field. Over the bridge. There's the water weaving its way around. And this bridge was installed by the Ramblers Association, the Mendip Group. I don't know how long it's been there, but they do do things like that. They have walks, they raise money. Here's a little hatchway for dogs. Look, lift it up. Don't know if a badger knows how to do that yet. Or a small child can get through there. And then over the boards missing out. Once again, all this here is all to do with mining. people up there. Yeah, they could be those people that I know that I passed a couple times. They are probably coming this way. They've had their picnic. I don't know whether they will come straight here or go around the wood. I'll let them pass again. So I don't like being followed up hills. I'll probably get up this one before they get to me. Right then, so just looking back a minute. Yeah, they're coming this way. Turning off. 